Astronomers, scientists, so many more fascinated tonight by what they are seeing. Our thanks to Geo for that. And joining us now for more is astrophysicist Hakeem Olushei. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you for having me. It's an exciting day. It really is. The images that Geo just showed us are stunning. NASA officials are described as ugly crying when they got their first look at the photos. What was your initial reaction? Well, I thought to myself, by George, they're going to do it, right? <laughs> and, and, and here's what I mean by that. This telescope was designed to actually observe the very first stars and galaxies and to peer through the dust and look at newly forming planetary systems. And when I saw that very first image that was revealed last night for the deep field, oh man, I mean, my mind was blown. I was familiar with the Hubble image that preceded it. Hubble was revolutionary and the James Webb Space Telescope has taken it orders of magnitudes beyond. It, there are so many people who are not in your field, right? Obviously, we can yes. understand the excitement from NASA and from you, but a lot of people might be thinking, why should we care about what the Webb Telescope can ultimately find? How would you answer that? We see the development of the technology and how trying to get this telescope off the ground is what actually pushed that technology forward. So, you know, there are a lot of what we call spinoffs from NASA's space work. And that's pr perhaps the most tangible stuff. But really, you know, as a scientist, the way we look at it is you just cannot foretell how the work we're going to do is going to pay off in the future. What's fascinated you the most so far by what you've seen? Oh, well, look, like I said, a couple of the images I was already familiar with from other telescopes and just seeing how big of an upgrade Webb is. I mean, I don't think the people who built Webb expected <laughs> it to be this good. There's so many points of single point failure in this mission. And the fact that everything has gone off without a hitch, that is that is amazing. That is really amazing. And the scientific reach of the instrument, it's only been one week and we're already seeing things we've never seen before. Like, give me a break. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Your excitement is contagious. I love to just see uh, the enthusiasm that you have. Many people are, are seeing these images, and of course it sparks the question, are we alone, right? Or is there other right. life out there? How can this telescope help accelerate that, that search for, for life in the universe? You know, that was one of the most outstanding things that was illustrated today, and that is, is that uh, a spectrum, which is basically like a... You know, bumps and squiggles is what we call it. But, you know, I think of it like a barcode, right? If you have a barcode on a package in the store, that barcode tells you a lot about that item. Well, we get these things that we call spectra, and it looks like a bunch of lines and dips and dashes, but that tells us what elements are inside of a planet's atmosphere. What's going to happen here? is that we have another telescope in space called TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. And it's been identifying planets around nearby stars. And so Webb is going to go in and taste the atmospheres of those stars by taking spectra, and we're going to look for biomarkers, molecules that could indicate the presence of life in those planets. So that's around the corner. I can't wait to see who knows by the end of the year, we may have a candidate for life on another world. Based on what you already know, and now combining that with what you're seeing, are you more of a believer that, that there is life on other planets or is it still way too soon to know? It's not too soon to know. Listen, the universe is the universe, right? The laws of physics here are exactly the same as they are everywhere else in the universe. The, the elements are the same. So if you ask me, I already observed that life exists in the universe, right? It's just a matter of us finding it out there. So life, I think life is probably everywhere. Technologically advanced life, Oh, that's going to be hard to find. Uh, well, I know you're going to keep looking for it. astrophysicist <laughs> Hakeem Olushe. We thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate uh, just how excited you are all, uh, about all of it. It helps us to all kind of gain new perspective. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.